Hey guys, it's Josh here at Fortner's Frontier Leather. So recently I just got a, 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 a holster out to a customer and I made a mistake. I usually put a, a hammer thong on all my revolver holsters and I forgot to do it on this one. So I told him he could, he could add one himself or he could send it back to me and I'll fix it for free because it was my mistake. Um, but he, he wanted to know if I had a picture on what that would look like on how to add a hammer thong. But I thought I would record a video uh, and to kind of answer this question for anybody else who may have the same question. Uh, so a hammer thong is very simple. It's just a piece of leather lace that loops over your hammer and it's attached to the holster to hold your gun down in that holster. You may need one, you may not. Depends on what you're doing with that gun and with that holster. Like uh, him and like myself, um, you know, carry these guns out in the woods uh, all around the homestead. I want something just to, you know, kind of secure, make sure it's secured in there. So uh, what you do is very simple. Get yourself a leather hole punch. If you don't have one, that's fine. You can use a drill and drill out the holes. And you also need some sort of lace. Uh, if you want to be traditional about it, use some leather lace. Um, I usually, once it's folded over, uh, make sure it's about the same length as the holster, uh, just so I know I have enough material to work with. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll you punch your holes right here on the edge of, on the front edge of the holster. So bang bang, you punch these holes. You take your lace, one end, loop it through the top, do that top hole, pull it about even. Take your other end that's on the outside, put it through the hole on the top. I'll make sure it's somewhat even here. You can adjust it later, it doesn't really matter. And then you would take both ends and stick them back from the inside, outside the bottom hole, like so. Sometimes you have to fiddle with it a little bit. It kind of can be kind of hard to get it through once the holster is already, already stitched up. And then you pull both ends out that bottom hole. So then you're left with a loop on the top and your two ends hanging out the bottom hole. It can be adjusted. You can pull it up or down. Uh, you know, when you get a new holster, it'll be kind of tight. It might sit a little high. Over time, the holster, the leather will stretch out and your gun will sink down in the holster a little bit. Great thing about the hammer thong is you can you can pull it down to adjust to your gun because every gun's not going to fit the same in these holes these one size fits all holsters that I make but that's okay uh, they didn't fit the same back in the 1800s either uh, companies like Sears and and companies like that uh, that were mass producing these things would often make these one size um, fits all holsters. Um, make them a little bit oversized so they'll fit just about anything and that's what I do with the working man rig and as well as this lawman rig but that's how you attach a hammer thong um, very simple if you can't get any um, lace where you live if there's not a hobby lobby uh, you know where you can get the punch or you can get the lace I can send you some lace for free it's no problem I'm thinking about adding some leather lace as my uh, to my Etsy shop anyway because I have a, a, a lace uh, maker. It's not a machine. It's just a set of blades where you pull leather through and it cuts out a bunch of lace. So I'm probably going to add lace to my shop. Uh, but either way, until then, if you need some lace, shoot me a message and I'll send you a piece of lace for free. That's, that's nothing. So I hope this helps out. And as always, stay self-reliant.